Welcome to the new features for QuickBooks Desktop 2020. First thing we want to look at is the new features for the reports, but we'll also go over the invoicing, help and support, and file management. And the cool thing they've added is to collapse a report horizontally. It gives you an option now in the columns here to select this negative sign. And before we do that, what I like to do is collapse the rows and this collapses the detail in the report so you could have multiple lines in a transaction and it will reduce it to a single line. This shortens a report and makes it easier to read. You can always expand for the detail. So if we hit collapse, what that does is it brings, you'll see the first one is Christy Abercrombie and they have three jobs with a total. I just want to see a total for Abercrombie by themselves. And what that does is it gives me a plus sign right here and it condenses all of the jobs together. You'll notice the next one would be Robert and it has his total. You would just select the negative and it would condense his into one line. You can also do that on any of your other reports as far as collapsing the rows and you would just select collapse row and you'll notice that all these will collapse into construction income. I use these reports for the bank. They don't need to see the detail as much or even owners as they're doing budgets or comparisons for the different cost groups. Next thing is invoicing and they have what is called payment reminders. Their payment reminders are giving you an example of 30 days after the due date. You want to get a reminder or send them out one. And you would get the reminder of your late payers in that list. And then you would be able to select them and this would generate a template letter you've set up. It will also show in the invoice in this C history, it will show the deposited amount, what you received, if you've ever sent out a reminder. And this is a great view just from the invoice alone of the activity. So let's try one. We'll go over to Customers, Payment Reminders, and I started off with Manage Mailing List. In that, you create a mailing list by giving it a name and a description. Hit Next, and then this will list all your customers. You can select all, which I do, or you can select a few. You can also select it if you're using different types. So you could have residential and commercial, and then of course the mailing list. Hit Save, and then the second step, Customers, Payment Reminders, and Schedule a Payment Reminder. So I've created one which is collections and I want to add the reminder. So I want it to send it to me five days after the due date. And this is the template letter that will go with it. So you can customize this as well. Once you've done that, QuickBooks puts the screen up saying, let's do it or everything's all set. You're going to get a prompt and a reminder. And then you can track your reminders through the history and it will also manage your mailing list. Last thing I want to do, customers, payment reminders, and I want to review and send payment reminders. So it gives me all my past due customers here. And in this case, I just want to send it to Sweet Tree, the other ones I've spoken to or I know that they're going to pay. And this one I just want to send a reminder to, and it gives me my template letter, and I would hit send now. So pretty cool. Next up is the customer PO and invoice email. 
So the basis of this is that we can include different types of information, such as the PO number when we're emailing our invoice. We would go to Edit and Preferences. And in the preference, you'd scroll down to Send Forms. Select the Company Preference tab here. And in this, we can add a template. And it creates an O1 next to their basic, but we're going to make this our default. And this is the template that we can insert the field, such as doing a customer PO included in my template. For this basic invoice 01, it is now my default. And we can also combine the forms. So you're going to combine multiple forms to your customers, vendors, or employees in one email. How do we do that? We go over to File and Send Forms. Send Forms then opens up and I can select the items I want to send. You'll notice to Rock Castle I wanted to send the sales order and two of the invoices. Again, this is really helping me out because I don't have to send them multiple emails. Next up is the help and support. Well, they've just made a function key, which is F1, that will go ahead and you can connect to the community or you can ask a question. So when you're in there, you hit F1 and this is a screen that pops up. Last is the file management, and it's also got a great company file search. So how many of my clients have lost where they backed up their company? A lot of times on the desktop version, you can have multiple companies. So some people do their personal, and some people have three different types of businesses. And if they save it, they don't remember, and they go, Tracy, where is it so now I can quickly send them over to find a company file and we can do a search on it and then they can find it through their local drives the removable media or any network really nice feature I want to thank you for going over the new features in 2020 seems worth it Thank you, and if you need any personal training, please give me a call or an email.